felt the Lord say to me, Christy, I know that you can fight, mm -hmm. but can you sit down and take it? Mm -hmm. I know that you can speak up, but can you shut up? I don't know if he's ever said that to you, can you <laughs> shut up, but he did, he said that to me, <laughs> true story. And I felt him just say, I know that you are a fighter. You were born a fighter. You yeah. are good at being a fighter. But can you turn the other cheek? Mm, can yeah. you bite your tongue? Pride wears so many masks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, sure can, look, oh, it, yeah. it can look, sure it can does. be sneaky. It's not always yeah. obvious, Proud ego, miles. arrogant. Yeah. So yeah. Like, what is, like, what does that look like in y'all's lives? Because it, it may look like that, but it may look different. Oh, yeah. No, for me, um, <laughs> I love that you brought this up. Because I think we assume pride is, I'm all... <laughs> right. So arrogant. But it's sometimes sweet. pride is, it's all about me. What is yes. Uh -huh. It's fruit from the same tree. Insecurity the worm, the worm idea. Absolutely. I was at a, a women's conference recently, and God just showed off. It's incredible what was going on. Just revival. Women were getting saved. And I turned to the woman next to me who was on the team that put this conference on, and I went, this is amazing. Yeah. She went, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Jesus. I hope I'm she's so not watching. <laughs> But I got oh, she's like that, she's not. Yeah. I no. am the most humble but of I got all. Because I wanted to go, I wasn't even thinking about you. <laughs> yeah, don't you worry. Yeah. yeah, I knew this yeah. was the Lord, but I think that's where we tend to go in Christian circles is, oh, no, don't look at me. And I'm yes. like, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. I, it was not all about you. And I think that's where yeah. we can wrap a verse around it and almost make it look like humility. And I'm like, no, mm. humility isn't it's all about me. Yeah. Right. Humility is on my worst day. Right. He right. saved me. So yeah. I do think we spiritualize pride. I totally. I'm, I remember listening like to this talk of, you know, and someone's going on about oh, oh, beautifully the glory of God and, right. you know, but, and I don't want to take any of his glory. And I'm thinking, uh, you couldn't. <laughs> you, you or me. When, and, and people like sometimes when I pray, oh God, it's, it's, it, I just want you to get all the glory. I go, he will. Because <laughs> yeah. me on my best day, right. me showing, uh, what part of, how small is your God? Yeah. That you would think me on my best yeah. day could actually overshadow him um, at all. So sometimes I think that thing about, you know, let's just try to minimize whether it's a personality thing right. and confusing maybe what's personality sure. or great faith. Yeah. Sure. Um, with, you know, a, with a false humility that basically saying my weakness has the power to That's right. minimize God's strength. That's right. I'm like, no, no, not really. Right. So, you know, of course God's going to do it. But I think um, it comes through, the arrogance can come through. We can easily spot it out. Mm -hmm. I'll speak about me. I'm so discerning at spotting out um, pride in other people in place. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, too. my <laughs> motives are always pure. <laughs> my motives are always. Good. And so yeah. I think sometimes God does like what happened to you. You know, I had a, a thing last year, same thing, and very public. And yeah. everything in me, and given the magnitude of my platform, I could have jumped out there and went, mm -hmm. let me just rectify where this has actually right. been misrepresented. But I felt exactly the same thing that are you going to not only turn the other cheek, but yes, for a whole lot of reasons, but also. Um, right. Maybe there's some things I need to teach mm, you in all of this. Right, that, right. And you're going to locate some areas, Chris, in you that um, are prideful because, of course, you don't want people to think the wrong thing of you. But, okay, right. so say they do. Right. Say they are calling right, you right. this or thinking that, right. which for right. you could have been the worst thing that somebody could. Uh, uh, right. Are you going to live with it? And right. think, uh, well, right. Can you live with that? And I think it's a big thing. I think a lot of times we think, you know, I'm really humble if I just uh, if I just make myself out that I am nothing. You are not nothing. You are a son or a daughter of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are created in the image of God. Scripture says that we are a royal priesthood, a chosen nation. We are sons and daughters of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So you're not doing anyone any favors by thinking that you are anything less than a child of the King. So that's not a true form of humility or going, you know, um, I kind of sense that maybe God's calling me to do this great thing, but there's no way, no way I could do that. And just, I'm just so bad and I could never do it. And there's, and it all just sounds so pious, but the root of that is pride actually, because what you're saying is that your limitation is greater than God's supernatural ability to do something awesome through your life. Anything that I've ever done for the glory of God, I could never do. I know that because I'm not God, He's God. And so there needs to be a huge gap between what I can do and what God can do so people could go, ah, she can't do that. I'm like, yeah, I know, I can't do that. God alone. My job is to believe God. God's job is to be God. 
my job's not to be God. And so I think once you get that worked out, then you can operate out of a, a place of true humility. A, true hum, a tr truly humble person is someone that goes, I know that I'm not God and I know that God's God. That doesn't mean I'm nothing. It just means I'm not God. And so when I come into a project, whether it's A21 or Propel or Life, I'm not trying to be God. I'm letting God be God. I'm being Christine. I love being me and I'm glad God's God. And so when I have a right view of who I am and a right view of who God is, wow, we can do awesome stuff to, for His glory. That's probably one of the hardest times to sit down and shut up. Yes. Yeah. Is right. when you want to defend yourself That's because right, I right. am not that or oh, I did yeah, not do that. Right. Right. Definitely. Right. You know, or, right. and, and you do have something right. to say. Can you just... Let God fight your battle. That's right. For yeah. you. Life. You yeah. know, and that's, I mean, that's it's a big not one easy. to learn. And, it's, and, it's and, and when you're in the public eye, that's yeah. That's very my difficult. thing is I wanted to, and then, but I kept getting, you know, your salvation will come from the Lord. Be yeah. still and right. let the Lord God is your vindicator. Yeah. And I'm like, I could be doing a much better job. <laughs> I have no pride, none at all. <laughs> from both sides, in either case, yeah. looking less of me, uh, myself, of course, and looking yeah. at God, because sometimes you do say something. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes yes. you don't. Mm -hmm. And 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 how to know the difference. That's yeah. a big when, right. And in right. order to know the difference, yeah. you have to be looking at God and saying, okay, at this moment, do you want me to say something or not? Right. At this right. moment, do you want me to sit down or not? You know, yeah. what's the correct posture? Right. right that is the, is the right posture for this circumstance, given these circumstances. Right. And you only get that answer. Because I'm, I'm thinking about the person who's watching who may be saying, okay, yes, but you know, I don't ever say anything. Right. And I and am the doorman. Right. 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 So they right. need to know when it's time to speak up. Right. Absolutely. And then the person who's always speaking up, they need to know right. when it's right. time not to. Totally. And there's no, there's no magic pill yeah. no. except for yeah. looking at God, looking at Him and saying, okay. God has always challenged me to work on areas that I'm weak. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I have natural bents towards certain temptations and that type of thing. And I was going through a season, this was about a year and a half ago, actually, when I was yeah. on tour with Christine Kane in uh, the Propel tour. But it was, it was what I would call, as Oswald Chambers describes it, as the valley of humiliation. And it was mm -hmm. circumstance after circumstance after circumstance mm -hmm. where I was wronged. This wasn't like my opinion. It was like I was embarrassed or humiliated yeah. or mm -hmm. slighted or, you know, one thing after another. And I kept feeling like, God, where are you? God, what are you doing? And it was, it was humbling. It was mm -hmm. very, very humbling. And I, and I felt this really strong sense that God was trying to strip me of my pride. Pride I wasn't even aware was there until yeah, I was right. in these scenarios. And then right. I was, you know, everything was rising right. up in me to want to defend myself and sure. want to fight and want to tell yeah. people how wrong they were and how right, right. I was <laughs> and all of those right. things. And I just felt the Lord say to me, Christy, I know that you can fight, mm -hmm. but can you sit down and take it? Mm -hmm. I know that you can speak up but can you shut up? I don't know if he's ever said that to you, can you shut up, but he did, he said that to me, true story. And I felt him just say, I know that you are a fighter. You were born a fighter, you yeah. are good at being a fighter, but can you turn the other cheek? Can yeah. you bite your tongue? And um, that was a really impactful lesson for me. Yeah, that's um, I love the quote by Winston Churchill where he says, it's, it takes courage to stand up and speak up. It also takes courage to sit down and listen. Yeah. And so there may be some personality styles that they need to stand up and they need to speak up. And that's a struggle for them of always being a doormat. I don't have that struggle. <laughs> I don't have that struggle. I need to have that struggle. Um, but for me, it really is learning to um, remove any ounce of pride. There was one specific incident where I was up in front of a large group of people and someone that I thought was a friend and is a friend um, unintentionally just really slighted me, said something that was um, just kind of a jab, you know, in front of everyone else that really embarrassed me. And I was so humiliated in front of all these people. It was a really big group of people. And I just stood there and everything in me wanted to defend myself or say something smart aleck back or put that person in their place. And, and, and I just stood there and I just smiled and held my head high. And that was really hard to be full of embarrassment, to be red-faced with humiliation and, and even red-faced with anger to want to defend yourself because that was so wrong to do that to me in front of all those people. And after I uh, left that day, I just went out to my car after I left that meeting and I went out to my car and I sat there and I just cried. And I just thought, God, do you see me? Like, do you see what I'm going through? Do you see how hard this is? It's day after day after day. It's stuff like this. Well, wouldn't you know, later that day, I was walking through a building that I never go in. 
and I saw a girl that I never see. And she saw me from across the building. It was like completely across the, the fourth floor. And she waved her hand. She said, hey. And she darted through all these people to get to me. And she goes, I got to tell you, I saw what happened this morning. And I just felt God saying to me that he wanted me to say to you, he sees you. And what a specific answer to prayer that God's going, I know it's hard. I know you feel humiliated. I know your pride is being stripped and you want so bad to fight, but I see you and I'm doing something in you. And so if you're going through a season right now where you want to fight and you want to defend yourself and you're so right, and you know you're so right, I just want to encourage you that God sees you and he will fight for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.